Hello everyone, my name is Pedro Rodriguez III and I am a student in the Master of Education in Educational Technology program at the University of Texas at Brownsville. Today we are going to look at some of the past, present, and future trends of educational technology. My hope is to provide a better understanding of technology integration and motivate one to explore and enhance their learning. This presentation takes a quick look into educational technology. The field in itself cannot be covered in its entirety in this presentation. I am going to present a definition of educational technology, a brief history of the past and the present and future trends in the field. Lastly, I will provide the references for my presentation. Educational technology can be traced back to the early years of the 1900s. It also has many developmental periods as it progressed, many of which overlap with each other. Educational technology can be divided into two main periods, the instructional media and instructional design periods. The start of the instructional design period marks a significant change in which the field becomes a process rather than a supplement to instruction. Another important part of the past includes the theories and theorists who contributed to the field. These contributions to the learning sciences can be broken down into three parts, behaviorism, Cognitism and Constructivism. It is important to note that the behavioral and cognitive theories are the bedrock in which the field of instructional design was founded and initially developed. Naming and Defining the Field Educational technology is defined as a concept rather than a concrete idea. It is referred to by many names. Instructional technology, educational technology, instructional design, instructional development, instructional systems, instructional design and technology. These are some of the many names. Major and governing organizations adopted educational technology as a name for the time being. The definition is as follows. The study and ethical practice of facilitating learning and improving performance by creating, using, and managing appropriate technological processes and resources. Presently, the field of educational technology is facing many issues and advances. Here are some of the many issues. Digital divide in technology. Simply stated, it's a gap between those who can access technology and those who cannot. Another issue is updating skills. Updating professional skills and roles to accommodate emerging technologies and changing service delivery models is a major issue. Recently, EDUCOS named this as the number one issue for professionals. While there are many issues, there is also progress. Such progress can be seen in learning environments. Mobile learning environments. Mobile technology can be seen everywhere. As we shift away from the traditional computer and to mobile technology, these environments become areas of interest in the present day. The use of mobile learning environments, specifically laptops, tablets, and e-readers, have a positive effect on academic achievement. Distant learning environments are also an interest. Distant learning is the use of technology and teaching methods to teach students online rather than the traditional classroom setting. This is where a solid foundation of the learning sciences is taken into consideration when designing such courses. Technology is quickly advancing. The evidence can be seen in self-driving cars and computer glasses. In educational technology, I am going to present the future trends in mobile and social learning environments. For mobile learning environments, one can look into major research universities and can see the trends. One such trend is MILE, which stands for Stanford Mobile Inquiry-Based Learning Environment. SMILE turns a traditional classroom into a highly interactive learning environment by engaging students in critical reasoning and problem solving while enabling them to generate, share, multimedia rich inquiries. This is one of the many examples. With mobile learning environments, there is also informal learning. Through the daily interactions of mobile devices, learning is occurring all the time. One example is asking your device a question. Google Now and Siri can answer many questions without instructional intervention. In the mobile learning environment, the learning of digital literacy is another example. In social learning environments, the future trends are Edmodo and game-based learning. Edmodo provides teachers and students a secure place to connect and collaborate, share content and educational applications, 
and access homework grades, class discussions, and notifications. And Moto's goal is to help educators harness the power of social media to customize the classroom for each and every learner. In game-based learning, games are designed for educational purposes. Popular games such as Second Life are being used in many universities for virtual classrooms. To conclude the presentation, we learned a brief history of educational technology, the definition of educational technology. We learned that today's concept, name, and definition can be considered as a snapshot in time and is therefore a temporary one. For the present issues and advances, issues include a digital divide and updating user skills to accommodate emerging technologies. I introduced some of the hot topics in mobile and distant learning environments. For the future trends in mobile learning environments, major research universities are actively researching this learning experience. Social learning is becoming a part of the learning experience as well.